Hello, good evening guys. Uh, today, I actually have a lesson. Um, I have a Japanese student and we will um, have a lesson a few just a um, few minutes from now. It's more on a uh, discussion lesson because she wants is to improve her communication skills. So I'll be sharing uh, some video uh, so you will know how I teach my uh, students. And also, I'm so sorry to our passabyers today. This is the reason why I didn't have a passaby because I do have another um, racket <laughs> yeah so I'm not just a, a delivery service woman but I, I am also a teacher uh, sometimes <laughs> anyway to those who don't know I used to be a teacher and I was also a head teacher in one of the ESL school in Samongita um, that's in Deti I worked there for almost two years and then I decided to uh, separate with the company uh, because I wanted to um, work in a call center again yeah so anyway uh, so much for that uh, my student is already waiting I'll be sharing you some of the slides um, I, I, I actually do PowerPoint um, on my lessons so that my student will understand more uh, on what we are gonna discuss thank you so much and just watch the video uh, if you have any questions uh, feel free to comment on the uh, comment section and I will love to answer those again so sorry passabayer uh, I didn't do passabay today uh, because today I <laughs> am a teacher so anyway thank you bye bye For Filipino uh, church wedding, normally it just takes like an hour. It's quite long. Yeah, it takes an hour. And then um, if it's church wedding, after the wedding, uh, there are pictorials. Like you take pictures. So... It makes the wedding long because of this um, picture taking afterwards. Yeah, and uh, let's go to the next one. Okay, so another wedding in the Philippines. Um, if you don't go for church wedding, you can have a civil wedding. Okay, and uh, this type of wedding is actually cheaper, and it's also faster and more convenient for Filipinos. Yeah, because for church wedding you need to plan it you need to plan uh, the wedding for months but for uh, civil wedding you can just make it within a week or two and you can already have the wedding and for this type of wedding um, it's not a priest um, it is done by a judge or a municipal um, mayor I'm not sure how it's called in uh, Japan um, Japan is divided by prefecture right Okay. Um, what do you call the leader in each um, prefecture? Okay. So in, in the Philippines, the leader in our place can uh, celebrate uh, the wedding. Yes. Okay. So I have here an example. This is actually Teacher Isa's wedding. So I had my wedding. Uh, it was a beach wedding. And then, yeah, this is very uh, special to me. Uh, this is my father and my mother. And uh, this wedding is very special to me because um, after um, three months after my wedding, uh, my father passed away. Yeah, so it's very uh, special to me because um, my father always wanted to see me getting uh, married. So he was actually wearing uh, sunglasses during the wedding because he was crying. He was actually crying at this time. Yeah, so that is, this is Teacher Isa's wedding. And then, this is the leader in our municipality. He is called Mayor. Yes, yeah, so he was the one who uh, celebrated our wedding. And then, um, after giving the vows, uh, we have the exchange of rings. Yeah, so, and after that, 
uh, we were already out announced as husband and wife. Yeah, so um, this is called Civil Wedding. And then future eyes out, I actually like this um, kind of wedding because it doesn't need much time to prepare. And it, it also doesn't cost much like the church wedding. Church wedding is very expensive. Like you need to spend at least 50 or 100,000. Yeah, so that's a lot of money already for Filipinos. But for this type of wedding, this one is, um, I think, only around 30,000. Yeah, not really that much. Like, lesser than, it's like just one-third of the cost that we will spend in church wedding. Okay, and then let's proceed to the uh, wedding rituals. Okay, so I have mentioned about... Um, that there are some rituals uh, during church wedding and first one would be candle lighting yes so We have the priest, right? How about if you will have a wedding in the hotel? Who will um, host the wedding? Ah, still, uh, still a uh, priest. Okay, is it still uh, the Shinto priest or a different priest? So hello guys, um, there you have it. Um, you already have witnessed on how I do my lesson online. So uh, the topic that we had for this lesson was actually about cultural differences between Jap um, Japanese and Filipinos. We have discussed courtship, um, marriage, uh, dating, uh, different wedding uh, rituals, and um, we were also share she was all my student was also sharing um, how is it in Japan like what are the traditions or rituals that we, that they have um, during weddings so um, we will have another lesson next week um, I'm still gonna think about the topics that we might have um, I'm not yet sure but it depends if she will also have just suggestions. So uh, actually after the lesson, um, we will have feedback time. So that's the time where I will um, give her some like sentences that needs to be correct or grammar or pronunciation if there is. So that's what we do after the lesson. So anyway, as you witnessed, um, my daughter was so also interested in teaching. Um, she was actually just trying to um, act like me or pretending to be a teacher or teaching someone. And uh, she told me that she wants to be a teacher someday. So hopefully. So anyway, um, so much for that. Thank you so much again. And uh, thank you for watching um, the video. If you do have questions about teaching online, or if there's anything that you want to know about um, ESL, yeah. As long as I have the idea, yeah, I can uh, give you the information. So just comment or uh, you can also 
yeah, just comment and I'll um, answer any, I'll, I'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have. So anyway, that's all for, uh, that's all, uh, for tonight. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of the evening. Bye-bye! Uh,